everyone, welcome back. It's Moe, K Swedish Whiskey Girl, and today we are here to try Dee Glen Turret's Triple Wood. This is a 45% ABV, and this is a 2022 release. So they do every year a new release. This year it was the 7 peat smoke, the 10 peat smoke, the Triple Wood, the 10, the 15, the 25, and the 30. Have I missed one? Let me double check my notes. The, the 10 peat smoke and then the 12, so 12 not a 10, and yes, uh, if you're curious to read more about the whole range, I actually was lucky enough to go up to the distillery when they launched the range and got to try them all, so I've written more about that on the blog along with some of my uh, thoughts on the whiskies, which one I liked the most and a hint was not the 30, which is uh, quite funny, but yes. We are going to try this. This is, has been um, blended together using both American and European sherry season casks and also some ex bourbon barrels. So we will have a look on the nose and see what we think. Straight away it's quite, quite grassy I would say. But it also feels, hmm, it reminds me a little bit of a vodka on the nose and I'm trying to figure out what that would be. Maybe it's just the alcohol coming through. Or maybe it's the grassiness in combination with the um, spirit. Grassy has a bit of woodiness in there. Maybe there's some autumnal apples as well. And something darker, like almost going towards like dark chocolate. But at the forefront I would say probably the grassiness. Uh, so let's have a little sip and see what that gives us. Oh, <laughs> why did I forget to do this? Uh, it's lingerie. On the palette, there's a mix of kind of that grassiness, but also more with the, um, an orangey fruitiness, like my, oh yeah, like oranges probably, like a sweet citrus, but also a little bit of that dark chocolate. It's not as grassy on the palate as it is on the nose, but you can definitely get it in the mix. It does have a bit of that spirity character that does remind me a bit of vodka. That's quite curious. I don't know why, I'm quite enjoying that nose, but just because it's so different. It is a little bit hot at 45. Um, so I am going to add some water and see what we think, but let's have another sip first. I also forgot to say, it resells at £50. Um, so quite a nice mix of things on the palette, it's quite easy to approach. But let's add some water and see what we think. I have my water here. And we'll add some see how much we need. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. That brings down that vodka note. <laughs> and um, the woodiness steps up a bit more rather than the gasness. The, the water almost like elongates the flavours, just like stretches them out a bit. Also enhances the woodiness a little bit, but I don't think too much. I'm 
no, in quite an enjoyable way. I think the water, because it elongated things. Just made the experience a little bit wider. How do I describe this? I think before they were all kind of like put together, but the, with a little bit of water just makes it a little bit more flowy. Like they're um, attaching to each other a little bit nicer as well. Hmm. What else was I thinking about? Yeah, and that vodka note's completely gone now. It has just um, like a nice mix of things coming together. Easy to like approach, easy to enjoy. With a little bit of that sherry tone that's coming in and just making it a little bit richer and a little bit more chocolatey in a way. Hmm. I mean, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Glen Tarts. Have you tried the 2021 range or have you tried the 2022 release? Let me know what, which one was your favourite. I know the 15 did really well last year and I would anticipate that to do well this year because it has a higher proportion of um, European oak and it's the one that tends to be a little bit more sherried. So I really liked the 7 peat smoke actually and the 25. That was probably my favourite, so that was a really good one, but definitely out of my price range. <laughs> um, I'd love to hear your thoughts, please put them in the comments here below, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Slanjava, skål!